Hello friends and family and welcome to the September 16th edition of our boring meditation stuff. When I was a kid, I made my parents promise me our 1980, 1980, 1980 Toyota Corolla station wagon, white. <laughs> Um, as a small child, I thought it was the greatest car on the planet. And as a middle school child, I just thought, hey, it's a car. Um, and as a teenager, I still really enjoyed driving that car um, because when I was 16, they actually did give me the car. Um, they promised it to me when I was young and it was very sweet of them to give me that car. And the irony of them being so sweet and letting me, well, I mean, they gave it to me when I went to university, I think. I think maybe in high school I was on loan. <laughs> um, the irony of my parents being so generous with that Toyota Corolla station wagon is that I treated it so incredibly poorly. Um, it was a very hardy car. It was very uh, resilient vehicle which is good because i i never had the inclination to pop the hood look inside check the oil make sure that that it was running properly and yesterday i was talking about why i'm making these videos okay i'm, I'm making some videos because i want to instill a sense of curiosity in people. I want people to be curious about meditation and I want people to give meditation an honest try. Even if it's just to, you know, dip your toe in the water um, with a few minutes every day, just, just to see, oh, okay, if I actually experiment with this, what are the consequences? What happens? Um, and I think that that sense of curiosity was was maybe missing for me as um, as a teenage boy <laughs> so in my youth I was never tempted to to pop open the hood and once you're curious enough to try meditation then you start to realize that that is what this is you're popping open the hood and seeing, oh, okay, what is actually going on inside? Um, when you're driving down the highway and your car starts making a squealing sound, you wonder to yourself, whence this squealing sound? <laughs> Why? Uh, how is the machine failing in this way? And we ask ourselves these questions about ourselves all the time. Oh, I made some mistake. I, I yelled at a person. I, I was lazy. I ignored my responsibilities. Um, I don't seem to be able to focus. I don't seem to be able to live life the way that I used to live my life. Um, I don't seem to take joy in things anymore. Whatever the source of the initial curiosity about ourselves happens to be we never really take it much farther than that it's kind of equivalent to saying well yes i seem to be sad all the time um i'll just deal with that i guess um it's sort of the equivalent of saying well yes the car is squealing it's making a horrible squealing sound but i'll just keep driving <laughs> I have an eight hour drive ahead of me and I'm just going to plow through it. I need to get to the destination. Um, this, this attitude is fairly modern attitude, I think, in some ways, which is just, oh, okay, this, this machinery of the body, um, we just need, we need to deal with whatever is going on here, but we would just put up with it, except um, that things are going to fail and, and things are going to go wrong. And we do need to accept failures, right? Our, our organs will fail us, our body and our mind 
will probably fail us at some point in our life due to disease or old age or whatever other reason. Um, but we shouldn't just leave it at that. We should be interested in the root cause of the squealing sound. <laughs> we should pull over to the side of the highway, pop the hood, turn the car on, and then have a listen, have a look, maybe decide, oh, okay, I don't know, and I don't know a way to know, or maybe decide, oh, okay, it's just a loose belt. All right, I'll, I'll get that look, looked at when I can. But at least we should have that initial look. And that is a lot of what the kind of first steps in a meditation practice are all about. Popping the hood, having that basic curiosity to listen for the sound, to look for the broken part, and to see what's going on in there. Maybe there's nothing wrong at all. Maybe we just want to pop the hood and have a look in the machinery, um, read the user manual. <laughs> um, oddly enough, there there is a user manual, um, but you don't really need it per se. You only really need to look. And um, the processes of human psychology are actually kind of self-evident once, once you start exploring them. Um, that's probably enough for today. Uh, I, I hope this analogy isn't too ridiculous for anybody. I, I hope that um, it's not too... Uh, out there, I don't. I don't want to start constructing um, like new um, new pathways in in psychology. Or uh, oh yeah, the human mind. It's not like a computer. It's like a car. <laughs> I don't want to start constructing um, unreasonable or or childish models for what the human mind is. Um, I'm merely trying to come up with an analogy in terms of that initial curiosity that initial curiosity to have a look is the curiosity that i am again trying to instill in folks with the videos so that is why if someone lends you or gives you a 1980 toyota corolla station wagon you should pop the hood and maybe change the oil once in a while all right, I hope everyone is otherwise beyond just taking a look, taking good care of themselves, taking good care of everyone around them, and I will talk to you all soon. Goodbye.